Well, hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Life Lifters, where it's our goal to give your life a lift with some daily encouragement in five minutes or less. And today I want to talk to you about this idea of what it means to be self-seeking. That oftentimes we find ourselves in a position where we're seeking how to satisfy ourselves. Now here's the thing. It's not like we grew up knowing how to be selfless. In fact, we are hardwired to be selfish. That we only think about ourselves. We only think about what's happening to us. That's how we come into this world. And hopefully, over time, hopefully our parents or some influential, influential characters in our lives had really taught us how to share, how to be polite, how to do all of those different things. But it doesn't come naturally, even after we learn it. The Apostle Paul writes this, this profound phrase in 1 Corinthians 10, 24 that I want to share with you. He says, I have the right to do anything but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. Now here's what's fascinating with how Paul writes this. First he says, I have the right to do anything. Now the word right here means lawful. It's permissible. It's okay for you to do it. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I know that's a hard concept for a lot of us to understand. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. He says, I can do all things. It means it's okay. But then he says, but not everything is beneficial. What does he mean by beneficial? It means it's not for the common good. It's not going to benefit those around you. It's not going to create a better environment. And then he repeats himself. He says it again. But I have the right to do anything. Again, permissible. Okay. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Because then he follows it up with this. But not everything is constructive. What does he mean by it being constructive? It literally means to build something up. Just because you can doesn't mean you should because it's not going to strengthen someone else. It's not going to create a better environment around you. It's not going to build others up. The word that we use in the church for that is edification. It's not edifying. It doesn't build you up. You see, we are naturally selfish, and that's why I think he closes it with this. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. No one should seek their own good but only for the good of others. Remember, you are naturally selfish. That's how we come into this world and it's a process throughout our entire lives to figure out how to be selfless. That we put someone else's needs before our own. So I want you to change the question, especially when you're in a situation and you're working through with somebody, maybe that person's annoying you, whatever that may be. I want you to change the question that you ask. Ask, what does this person need? How can I help them versus what do I want? What does this person need versus what do I want? And it's this idea of not being self-seeking. Father, I want to lift up everyone who's watching today or listening. Thank you for them. Father, we just ask that you would help us have the strength to not be self-seeking, that everything we do is to build someone else up, to help the common good. And Father, we thank you for the grace that you have given us, and I pray that we would be able to extend that to one another. And for whoever is watching and is struggling through that right now, I pray that you'd give them courage, give them strength, give them peace, so that they can love someone else and ask that question, what does this person need versus what do I want? We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.